Now I'm going to show you how to read in a file that's been written to your computer to use in your program. So I'm going to actually combine kind of all three ideas that we've gone through so far. Prompting, writing, and reading in one program, although you can use each of them individually. So from before, I'm prompting the user for some information, their age, converting it to months, writing that to a file, and now I'd like to read in that information from the file and do something with it. So what I need now is a file called Easy Reader. And you can get that on my website as well, under Resources. It's the first class, so I'm going to right click on it and save link as. And I'm going to put it into the SRC folder for my project. So once again, make sure you're in the right project and save it to your SRC. Then remember to right click on your project name and go to refresh. Or you can also hit F5. Now you can see I have the Easy Reader class. To read in information from a file, you'll do something very similar to what we did with Easy Writer. You're going to declare a variable of type Easy Reader, and I'll call it File Reader. And I need to assign it to be a new Easy Reader. And I need to say which file I want to read in, so I'm going to put in my months.txt file. I don't have to be reading in the file I just written out. I'm just doing this as an example. You can read in whatever file you want. Now I'm going to read in a single piece of information from that file. And I know it's going to be an integer, so I'm going to make a variable called int. I'll call it num for number. I'm going to assign it to be file reader dot. You'll notice that there's a lot of options here. You can read in an int. You can read in a character or a char. You can read in a double. You can read in a line of information, which is a string. Or you can read in a single word. So if you type in a lot of words, you can just read in the first one. And for this one, I know that I just have an integer in there, so I'm going to read in an int. And put a semicolon to finish the statement. Finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to display this answer or this number to the user so I can verify that uh, the same thing that I wanted to be written out was read back in, back in. So I'm going to do this a little bit differently than I did earlier. I'm not going to do system.printline because that displays to the console. Instead, I'm going to make a little pop-up window. And the way you do that is with j option pane dot show message dialog. And the version I want is the first version. And the first input to that message is supposed to be the window that the message is supposed to be uh, displayed in front of. Our program doesn't have a window, so we're going to just put in here a keyword called null, which means we don't have a window. And the last thing is going to be our message. So my message is going to be, in quotations, uh, let's see, you are this many months old. And I'm going to add, with a plus symbol, outside the quotation marks, the number that I read in. So I'm adding together the message, you are this many months old, finish the message, plus a number, which is a variable, so that will evaluate to whatever is actually read in. So let's see if this actually works. I'm going to run it. And it prompts me for how old I am again. So this time I'll say I'm 31, so it's a different number. I hit OK. And you can see it says that I'm 372 months old because 12 times 31 is 372. And if I look at the file, you can see that it's also been updated. It's now 372, and unlike the previous video, it's not 360 anymore. So now we have a program that asks the user for a piece of information in a window. It takes that information and calculates with it, writes to a file, reads that information back in, and then displays it back to the user. A place where this could be very handy is if you were making a game and you wanted to keep track of high scores. Um, so if you wanted to, between different runs of the game, know what the high score list is, this would do it for you. There are some pretty important things to worry about then, which is how many high scores are you keeping track of, 
What if there aren't any high scores or the file isn't created yet? So there's a lot of exceptions there. Uh, but this will give you kind of the building blocks for reading and writing from a file and doing user input.